Yes, your favorite. Oh my God. The going away gift. Because you're done. Look at the cheese on that, Mitch. It's, it's well done as well. Mm. Who needs steak and caviar? Exactly. Mitch Wolf, guys, filmmaker of the year. My head is freaking pounding right now. Let's just go back a bit. Tell me what happened last night and where is Franco? Did party really hard last night. Franco was, was a mess. Like you're supposed to be professional. You're supposed to be actors. What was happening last night? What did you see? I was there. I saw the two of you go in a washroom with two hookers. He was talking to politicians. He was acting normal. He was clean. And you go into the bathroom, and next thing you come out, he's totally wrecked. And he's, I don't know, he's not himself. He went off the wagon. There were two girls here last night. We did have a lot of fun. Franco was screaming and hollering. Am I glad he's not here right now? Pretty much. I okay. have no stars. You know him better than I. Like, I don't know, he talked about something about rehab. What detox are you? On Queen Street to King yeah, Street? We're doing the Queenie's Medical Building. The Queenie's Medical Building. When are you allowed out? Yeah, I got a day pass for about an hour. Okay, fine. I'll be there around one or two. I'll I'll text you. Okay, man? Okay. Okay. I didn't know if I was coming or going. Franco! Mitch Wolf! Come on over. Come on. Say goodbye to your friends, my friend. Father was, um, you know, he's a gambler, and he um, drank a lot, like Franco. That's why I sort of related to Franco, because he reminded my father. My childhood is like it's the same story all over. It was uh, emotional, sad. Uh, you know, I had to uh, grow up fast. It was a struggle. So you like my stuff? I love your stuff. All like, right, I do. Okay. But like, this is. It's, Are you yeah, okay? It's, yeah, I'm, it's rehab, and uh, let's just... Uh, we're, we're, we're gonna get out of here. Yeah. Get, let's go around the corner, because okay. it's right. not safe. The booze hit me hard. I really hit a new low. You gotta trust me on this one. This is a great idea. It's your salvation, it's my salvation. It's a great film idea. You got a budget? I have a budget. Done deal, just, just be in the film with me. I'm and, in, roll the cameras. <laughs> Guess what? Guess what I brought you? The world needs happiness. We bring happiness. We bring dreams, and you know, we are the stuff of dreams. I know this is a bit, I know, it's a bit... Mitch. I know. It's, it's probably I not just, appropriate. I, I know. Just... Just to take a sip or two. It's all good. Okay, fine. Just take a little sip because your flash is great. Take a little... Not too much. It's the Stoli. Can't go wrong with the Stoli. Did you bring a little lemon? The great thing about this show is people identify Franco. We're all like Franco. We're all flawed. I don't drink, as you know, so... But, you know. Well, you're gonna start. 
gonna start. No, I don't think I'm gonna start. No, no I gotta keep sharp, my friend. I gotta keep sharp, you know, to keep up with you. You're funny. You're, you know, you're awesome. Okay, I need some quiet time. You need some quiet time? Okay. You just... I talk too much. Oh, you swallowed a radio. Yeah, okay. All right. Just how much quiet time? So Doug, guess what? I have a great idea for a short film. And believe it or not, I hired a fabulous actor. You may know him. We're all pumped here. So I need to see you. The guy has an alcohol problem. I just okay. got out of rehab. I know. And I'm a half a quart into the booze. I, yeah, so I feel bad about that. All right. I know, okay. But well, we're gonna do, you know, we're gonna shoot. It's gonna be magic, my friend. Do me a favor. Okay. Do not bring those guys from the past. No okay. hog. No Billy. Okay. No, 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 no mild, especially no mild Ricky. None of them. Okay, it's me and you. You have my word here. Okay. okay. What direction you want to go with this? Film? Okay. We're going to go in a different direction. You know what? Roll up the sleeves. Hold the camera. Okay. okay. Bring it in. Okay. Bring it in. Bring it on, guys. Hi. My name is Franco, and this is my audition tape. I played uh, Franco the baker, Franco the barber, uh, the Codfather Fish and Chips. I played it all, so like but I am. Franco, who is who? Really, did you play? Bitch, is it my audition or yours? Um, Fuck! Look who it is. I don't want these guys back in my seat. I don't want them either. I just actually. finished telling you. I, I'm sorry. And look I, who I, walks in. Okay, Dirty dog. I'm sorry. He's got the pulse of what people are looking for out there. Sorry. What's different to this is this is not a a Hollywood production. He's really flat without booze. So you know, I really want a good film. I want a good uh, scene from him or two. So. I'm letting him drink a little bit. Uh, he's got an intense mind for business. This film's going to be a great success. We have a premiere December 18th. I want you to come, Doug. Sure. He wanted to do something outside of Hollywood, but he knew what he was doing, how to do it. He did it his way. I'm a fucking drink, Mitch. I'm not having to come on, Frank. Frank, we got to go, my friend. Yeah, we have what? Smoke we, a cigar. No, no, I'm not smoking a cigar. Come what? on, come on. Let's, we have some have filming. A drink with me, we man. have some filmmaking to do, my friend. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Let's walk. Walk slowly. Oh. You like that idea? Okay, good. Get your fucking hands off me. Okay. <laughs> but we're buddies. I got your back. Right. Come on, come on. Okay. You're rolling. I like that. You're nice and loose, man. You're nice uh, and loose. Let's, let's go. go. Okay. We're good. We're good. Roll the camera. I'm so excited. I'm excited too, you're excited. We're gonna have a premiere. Like it's red be, carpet event? Red carpet, the whole thing. We're gonna have the lights. It's yeah. gonna be the event. We're gonna like get press. We could change our names. Okay. What are you gonna be called? Francesco. Are you Lewis? You want Lewis? I like Lewis. Okay. Francesco and Lewis. Francesco and Lewis. It works. <laughs> okay. All right. Sounds like a goddamn horror movie. Okay. <laughs> I gotta go back to rehab. Tonight. Are you serious? Tonight. I just pulled you out of rehab. What's the deal? You've dangled the booze. Okay, I feel bad that, about that. Straight. Do we really have to go back to rehab? I have a date tonight. Could we like could you go back to rehab tomorrow? Seriously. I have a date. People wanna laugh. People wanna be entertained. And we try to give a laugh a minute. Actually I, I don't have many friends. I can't hear you. 
I don't, I don't have many friends. You're my best friend. Mm, no, I'm not. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, we just had a moment. <laughs> we need dreams. We need love. We need happiness. And we do need to look at ourselves. And this reflects back upon us. Thank you. Okay. Be good. Appreciate it. Thank you. Franco! Love you, man! And we need someone to identify and someone to, you know, relate to. And this is very relatable. Ronaldo, hey, how you man. doing? Well, I'm better now, I feel better because you know you have the opportunity to meet my wife. We actually nearly had a little Me Too here. One of the cast members, won't mention names, fell in love with one of the stars. Ronaldo, what's up man? Hey Vinch. Something wrong with my car? Actually, I'm not even working here as a lead anymore. Ronaldo. Uh, rumor has it, he's in big trouble with management, so I think he's out of a job. He just didn't express himself and couldn't express himself. Juliana, my wife, it's a big issue, you know, she's illegal here. Well, I'm a good guy. You know, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm a, you know, yeah. I want to help you out. I saw the humanity in this man. She's fabulous. How did you meet? My wife is... The BS, my wife. I have some really good news for you. You know I'm also an immigration lawyer and a family lawyer as well as an executive producer. I think we're going to be able to get you some papers. I'm going to be sponsoring her. My friend, I have a check for you. You have a dream to make a, a film called Puta Brothers, right? It's a great idea. So here's a check, my friend, made out to you, $250,000. She's smiling. I think she likes me. Let me, I haven't finished. In order for her to get her green card, I'm going to have to consummate the relationship with Juliana. What was the word you said, that big word? Consummate, actually. I told you, you see, consummate, it's a sopa. So do we have a deal? I got your back, my friend. I got your back, my friend. Let's go. Okay, okay, really. I'm so happy. Okay, bye. Okay, ciao. Take it easy. Okay, bye. Okay. Let me ask you a question, Quinn. Sure, go ahead. Do you plan out the things you're going to do, or do you just deal with things as they come? You're married to this guy? I mean, no disrespect. He seems like a nice guy. He's like a lovable big bear. But, like, you're too good for him. I do both, actually. No, this has been all planned out from the start, and it's actually worked out fabulously. Do I have to, do I have to listen to this guy? I was on the board of directors of Lionsgate. I've been involved with filmmaking for decades. Why am I taking my shirt off? The fact that it's normal doesn't make it right. I'm gonna make sure we put that to a minimum. Do we, we do like this? The Johnny's and the Ronaldo's, but they couldn't carry it. I had to step in. So I'm behind the scenes and I had to step in and, you know, interview people, do stuff, have relationships, hit on women, and it's sort of fun. Yes. It was fun. I mean, it was fun. I you wish take somebody a... else's money and you figure out how to run it and you build something fun and you get paid and you star in it and you try to get laid all the time. That sounds like a great, great time, man. I and mean, what's wrong with that? It's awesome. But we've got a good production. The point is it's very entertaining. Um, you're a sociopath, there's no question about it. <laughs> but, uh... I like the way you do that. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, uh, how'd you get in here? The door's open. Uh, and who are you? I'm Jason. I'm Rick's friend. You're a producer? Yeah. I'm a producer. 
Me Too movement is, is like a reaction to the Me Too movement. It's really about we men and women upset with women who are falsely accusing us of misconduct. Just come on, I'm just, uh, we're, we're having an audition here, okay? Just relax. An audition. Okay, no, it's okay, it's okay, we're all good, we're all good. The Mitch Too movement, you know, is to essentially bring this out in the open, that there's another side. I didn't even know about this. Well, you don't have to know about everything. I have to talk with them. Okay, so do you mind getting dressed? You have to get Yeah. Have to, okay, all right. So Mitch, can... before you get any further, would it be respectful if you just put your clothes on? Um, yeah. Did this bother you? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. This is Hollywood, my friend. You know, everything's up in the open. I feel your pain, my friend. Let me get it on. Okay. Good. So, uh, when will I see you again? I don't know. Okay, all right, whatever. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'll text you. Yeah. Okay. All right? Okay. 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 Bye. So let me give you uh, my vision of the show. One of my favorite eras is the 70s. I'm a 70s guy. Mustaches, softcore porn. I wanted to bring back the casting couch in, in a modern take on things. Uh, Mitch. 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 Can I just get... Uh, okay. Can okay, I get... testing one, two... Historically, you know, there's bad images of the casting couch where these producers would take advantage of actresses. I wanted to bring it back. Okay. All, right. All right, good. Well, I love the tattoos here. Not a, not a great handshake. Not a great handshake. Okay, well, I'm learning about this stuff. Like, I'm not like you, man. Okay. Robin Black, he's late. Uh, he wants to be paid in advance. He's done nothing uh, as part of the course, but some people like him. They think he's good TV. All right, come on, sit down. You're, uh... Well, your wife's not wearing any clothes. There's something happening in this thing. I'm telling you. You look at the footage, you look at what they got, you sleazy. Right down to that crazy motherfucker Mitch. And she likes going around naked, so I hope this I, is not a problem for you. It, it's a bit of a problem. It's a there's, a, there's a few problems, okay. Mitch. He was horrible to work with. He was totally unreliable, totally obnoxious, both in real life and on the set. And remember, this is, we're role playing, this is acting, but I was not acting. I'm getting the feeling that um, doing this show, yeah. being in the show, yeah. putting yourself in the show more. Yes. It's trying to overcompensate for some of this. Not getting the women, power. Do you see what actually, I'm Actually, no, I don't see that at all, actually. No. I want him off. I want him off the set. I want him off the show. I never will work with him again. And frankly, he will never work in this town again. Are you expecting anybody? No, not really. We have shit to talk about. I know. No. I Remember Johnny Kim? Very funny guy, but he was backstabbing me. Who would have known? Who's the boss? Who's the boss of this? I'm the boss of no, this. No, no. Johnny, it's good to meet you. Good to really, meet you as well. Really. And A I pleasure. do think you're going to do killer. I really appreciate that. Really Thank do. you. Thank you. Um, and Mitch, you're all over the place. Let's face it, you know this. So you fuck up a million things, but on the way to doing it, you're a disruptor, you're a contrarian, you're doing things the opposite of the way that they're normally done. They think he's nuts. He may well be the only sane one of the lot. Just because 99 people think one way doesn't mean it's the right way. And that's often how brilliant shit happens. Well, thank you, man. And I didn't even talk about the sex tape we're doing. It started off badly, but it ended better than expected. We've got one more gift for you. I know, uh, wear them. Wow. Okay. How do I look, man? Wow. The wingman, taking flight. You look like a young Val Kilmer. Try to be cool with Franco, though. You saw what he did, how far he put himself out there. There's a tenderness to him in season one that I think the audience will really appreciate. They'll connect with him, and he seems like no, a sweet No, you know guy. what? He's, He's just... done. He's done. He's played out. 
I'm tired of him. We've got to move on. Look, there's Johnny, there's, you know, Ronaldo. It's enough. He's a good guy. It's time to move on. It's done. He's done. Great in season one. He carried it with Rick. And then he went off. It was the booze, the drugs, the hookers, the cocaine. I don't know. We lost him in season two. He was unreliable. He was not to be seen. All right. This is going to be Good a great season. Good to meet you. It's a pleasure. It's going to be a great season. We don't care about the bottom line. We don't care about money. There's not much money there. But we want to put out a good product. And we're proud of what we do. We are the new Hollywood.